Welcome into the Chiefs Report. I am your host, Harrison Graham. Today's show is presented by Manscaped. Get the best men's grooming products on the planet by going to manscaped.com and using promo code CHIEFS. That'll get you 20% off plus free shipping at checkout. An all-new item has dropped at Manscaped. We'll tell you about it later on in the show. On today's show, we're going to cover the latest Chiefs news and rumors, more stories circulating around the NFL, including Kyler Murray's contract extension. Stay tuned for that as we kind of compare and contrast that with Patrick Mahomes. But first, let's start with Clyde Edwards-Alaire as he did a sit-down uh, interview with The Athletic, Nate Taylor to be specific, and, you know, acknowledge that this is an important season coming up for him. Year three, he's had some you know, disappointing, uh, you know, start to his career, if you will. He's battled some injuries, but uh, now he's fully healthy, and he's hoping that uh, this year is the year for him to put it all together. Here's what CEH had to say. Quote, this offseason, it was pretty much getting back to the basics, being able to have a full offseason. That was one of the things Coach Andy Reid and I talked about. Uh, he said, this is really your first real offseason in the NFL. Really, health was the biggest thing. There was always a sense of urgency for me. I feel I bring that intensity. I never really was injured in college. It's just one of those things. And look, uh, the simple fact of the matter is this is a make or break year for Clyde in the sense of not that his NFL career could be in jeopardy. He'll be on a team next year, probably the Chiefs. But in terms of us seeing if he can be that first round talent that you know, we were hoping we would get a couple of years ago when he got drafted in the first round. This is kind of it. If he doesn't ball out and play at a high level this year, then he's probably just a rotation NFL running back. But he's got a chance. He's healthy. We'll see if he can put it together. I'm not sure he's got the burst to be that type of a guy, but can he be better than he's been? I do think that's possible for Kansas City. Will Clyde have a breakout year? Not even a superstar year, but just, you know, kind of show some of, you know, what we've been hoping for through two seasons. Type Y for yes, type in for no. Hope so, because if it doesn't happen this year, it probably never will for Edwards Alaire. You look at his first couple of years, you know, he certainly has shown some promise. His rookie year was pretty solid overall, well over four yards per carry there, had five total touchdowns, six total touchdowns last year in less time. But I think the injuries have slowed him down. I think something that's really bugged me with Edwards Lair, and part of this might be on the Chiefs, is they haven't used him as much as a receiving back as I would have liked. I thought that was the best asset he had coming out of LSU, and they really haven't featured him a ton. 36 six catches as a rookie, just 19 last year. I think he's a guy that could give you 50, 60 catches, uh, but part of that has been injuries. Part of that has been, you know, underwhelming play, and a lot of it, too, is we know that the Chiefs uh, – like to use other running backs, and I would expect that to continue this year. There's a reason they signed Ronald Jones and brought back Jarrett McKinnon and, and Derek Gore as well, uh, because the Chiefs uh, aren't a you know bell cow type of team. Uh, ever since uh, Kareem Hunt got released, they've been a rotation team. Ronald Jones and Jarrett McKinnon will have roles on this football team. Uh, I am very confident in saying that. Unless McKinnon just looks terrible at camp and they don't think he has anything left and they cut him, I fully expect him to have a role, which is why they brought him back a few weeks ago. Uh, but uh, as far as Clyde goes, uh, I think he'll have the chance to be RB1 to start the year. Then it's up to him uh, to see how big of a role his uh, – he's going to have for this football team. Who's going to be the Chiefs' best running back in 2022? Type CEH if you think it's going to be Clyde Edwards-Alaire. Type RJ if you think it's going to be Ronald Jones. Or type JM if you think it will be Jarek McKinnon. I think it could be any of these three. Predict it for us down in the comments. Shout out to Manscaped for sponsoring today's show. You guys know all about the Lawnmower 4.0. At least most of you do. If you don't, it's the best uh, ball hair trimmer on, trimmer on the market right now. And you can get 20% off with promo code CHIEFS at manscaped.com. It'll knock down that price quite a bit. Still a decent investment, I know, but it's going to last you a long time. I've had mine for a couple of years now. Also, Manscaped just dropped their Boxers 2.0. They've improved their Boxers, the anti-chafing uh, product there. they got a pouch for your package to sit in nicely there. And, you know, when you're walking around, it's hot in the summer. You don't want to chafe. These Boxers are very comfortable. They're silky. You're going to be good to go there. Uh, go check them out. Promo code Chiefs at manscaped.com. Again, that'll get you 20% off plus free shipping. Check the comments, the description. Click that link and shop today. 
All right, I wanted to talk about the NFL story of the day, which is Kyler Murray's massive contract extension, five years, $230.5 million, average of $46.5 million per year. And I think it's relevant because, you know, a lot of you guys at the time and even over the last year or two have thought Patrick Mahomes' deal is too much and too big of an investment. And look, in general, like, these guys probably in general make too much money, right? Uh, but in terms of salary cap purposes and in the NFL, which is how things are right now, Mahomes' deal keeps looking better and better. Uh, sure, the, like, volume of, oh, my gosh, 10 years, $450 million, up to $500 million, like, it's hard to comprehend. But him signing a 10-year deal was a gods godsend for the Chiefs because he's under contract through 2031, and he's now the fourth highest paid quarterback in the NFL. By the time that contract is over, he's probably going to be outside the top 10. Now, they could certainly rework that deal down the road to get him so some more money, and that might be the case. But Kyler Murray is nowhere near the quarterback of Patrick Mahomes. This is a team-friendly deal that Mahomes is on. Uh, so as these guys continue to get paid, Lamar Jackson's going to get a deal, probably more than Mahomes on annual value. Uh, Dak Prescott's going to be up again in a couple years. He'll probably get more than uh, the 45 uh, per year on average that Mahomes is on. Such a team-friendly deal. I think you guys just really have to understand, as this cap keeps going up, uh, his contract is going to be, uh, you know, just look better and better because you're talking about the best quarterback in the league that – was only the highest paid quarterback for like 10 seconds. So uh, great deal for the Chiefs. Uh, we'll see if it works out for Kyler in Arizona. Good for him to get the bag. Uh, but uh, as far as um, Mahomes and the Chiefs go, you guys should feel very good about that deal because it's a very good contract for Kansas City. Now join the Nodi gang here at the Chiefs Report. It caught my attention recently that only 17.3% of you guys have turned on notifications. That's just over 5,300 of our 30,000 subscribers. So here's what you do. The way to join the Nodi gang, and the reason you want to is to get notified when we publish a video. First, you got to subscribe, so if you haven't, hit that sub button. If you have, uh, go ahead and turn on that not notification bell and select all, uh, and then type Nodi gang in the comments once you've done that, because that means you have uh, turned on notifications and you are a part of the Nodi gang. You want a shout out on a future show? Type Nodi gang down below. We'll make it happen here on the Chiefs Report. All right, quick little uh, news item here. Uh, Willie Gay, remember that? A uh, little uh, misdemeanor domestic uh, issue where he broke a vacuum and, you know, there were some other uh, accusations uh, that went on um, between uh, him and his baby mama. Uh, well, he's uh, reached a plea deal on that, uh, which uh, stems from that domestic incident. TMZ uh, Sports uh, got the report here, said according to court documents, prosecutors agreed to let Gay enter a diversion program in order to avoid a trial and further jail time. As part of the diversion program, Gay agreed to take mental health counseling, submit to drug and alcohol testing, pay fines, fees, restitution, and generally keep his nose clean for 12 months. Hopefully this is a learning opportunity because, you know, coming out of college, there were some red flags for Willie Gay, some, you know, minor character concerns. And obviously you don't want to, you know, go into your, your kid's mom's house and make a scene like this and break something uh, in front of a child. So that's obviously... Uh, not something uh, that you want to uh, want to do. So hopefully he learns from this. Hopefully all parties are satisfied with uh, how things have played out here. Because let's be honest, for the on the field stuff, the Chiefs are banking on Willie Gay Jr. Him and Nick Bolton to be that dynamic duo at the linebacker position in the post Anthony Hitchens era. So uh, hopefully he can live up to that as the Chiefs are expecting big things and banking on him uh, to be a big part of this defense. So that's a little legal update there uh, comes to a plea agreement uh, so hopefully uh, he can stay out of trouble and uh, focus on football and be a big part of this thing will willie gay have a big year what do you guys think type one for yes type two for no is willie gay going to have a big year for kansas city go ahead and predict it for us down in the comments all right that's going to do it for today's chiefs report appreciate everybody for tuning in subscribe turn on notifications uh, to uh, stay in the know with everything uh, going on here on the Chiefs Report. By the way, I told you guys yesterday, Philadelphia Eagles now passed us in subscribers. We have got to catch up to them. Once again, let's uh, beat them to 32,000 subscribers as they have just crossed 31,000. YouTube.com slash Chiefs TV is the place to help us out. You can also follow me on social media. It's at HGramNFL at HGram NFL if you want more Chiefs updates over there. All right, we'll see you guys soon here on the Chiefs Report.